The commonly used knee injections are steroid injections. They're commonly known as cortisone steroid injections by most patients. And these are a mixture of long acting steroid injections mixed with local anesthetic. And it is a type of pain relief for patients with knee pain from osteoarthritis, sometimes from inflammatory conditions, and sometimes following an injury where the pain has flared up. Now, these injections do work very well in osteoarthritis, particularly in the early stages. In the advanced stages, they may not work very well. So they have a limited role in terms of where they work and which patients they work. Generally, an injection works for between six weeks to three months. And that again, depends on the severity of their underlying osteoarthritis. But patients do find it as a useful pain relief measure so that they do not have to take tablets and they can get on and do the work and the job that they intend to do. So a knee replacement procedure is an operation uh, that involves replacing the arthritic joint with a new metallic knee replacement. Now knee replacement is a fairly successful operation. About more than 100,000 knee replacements are done every year in the UK. Every operation is registered the National Joint Registry. So we know from the data on every year, and we've had this data for about last 13 to 14 years, that majority of the knee replacements are successful and patients have good movements, pain relief, mobility, and, and get their life back. There are up, up to most of the reports that about 85% of the patients get good outcome. And the knee replacement procedure is basically an operation whereby the arthritic part of the knee joint is removed and re replaced with a metallic prosthesis on the femur, which is the lower end of the thigh bone, and the tibia, and the upper end of the shin bone. Uh, and this procedure takes place about hour to hour and a half, depending on each different individual's deformity and their condition. And hospital stays usually between two to three days. However, we do encourage people to get moving quickly, something that's enhanced recovery, which get the patients going quickly so that physiotherapy can start as soon as possible. And that has shown a lot of improvement in the recent years. Knee replacements are a painful operation. However, new anesthetic techniques have developed. For example, I use something called a local anesthetic infiltration. Most of our patients will have a spinal anesthetic that in itself gives you a good relief of pain. And we have quite different good medications afterwards to help with the pain relief as well. So with the, we also, in my practice, we also use something called nerve blocks. And these have been extremely helpful in reducing the post-operative pain so that patients can recover get around sooner. That is something that I normally discuss with my patients about the options that are there for that particular pain. Injections work very well for the early stages of arthritis or wear and tear. They do not work very well for the later stages when there is complete established osteoarthritis with bone to bone. However, options, the pros and cons, I'm quite keen to discuss with the patients and I provide all information and we can then formulate a plan going forward. But in generally, injections are a better option in the early stages of osteoarthritis or degenerative joint disease, whereas knee replacement, particularly in the later stages with complete advanced osteoarthritis, where most of the patients suffer from lack of mobility, movement, pain, stiffness. So again, we come down to the question of how effective knee injections are. And knee injections can be effective for up to three months, sometimes more. Again, that depends on the type, the stage of the arthritis. In certain patients, they do work for a long period of time. And if they do work for a long period of time, more than happy that these can be repeated. If it doesn't work, then perhaps we may have to look at another option. And all the, the knee replacement options available if the arthritis has progressed in particular. And 
if somebody wants to try an injection first, but it hasn't worked, then obviously new replacement is a um, something that we need to discuss. Now, if patients do not want to have a new replacement for any particular reason, absolutely their choice, there are certain options, alternatives available where we can, we, uh, there are some orthotics available, which are like knee splints. There are some offloading knee splints available, which you can wear when the patients are walking, doing certain activities. There, are, there is some evidence to suggest that they do help to ease the pain. They do help to improve mobility. There are certain medications with less side effects, which can be tried. With medication, it's all about trialing and seeing which medication suits the patient, what dose suits the patient. Weight loss is an important part. We have seen that by reducing your BMI, that is your weight in relation to your height, has an effect in reducing the pain in the knee. Keeping yourself active, certain, certain movements, uh, important certain activities. Physiotherapy has a, a role in our osteoarthritis or strengthening the muscle, keeping the patients active. So these are the choices that patients can do. These are something the patients can do if they really want to avoid a knee replacement at a particular point to keep their joints, to keep themselves active, mobile, till they feel that they've exhausted all the means. So knee replacement is usually a last resort when most of these non-operative measures, or sometimes we call them conservative measures, have not worked or have failed.